Well, good morning there. It's uh, 3.30 and uh, we are hunting for the Milky Way together with uh, Koen, Martijn and Koné. Hello. Let's check it out. So what's this all about tonight? Well, the Milky Way core is uh, coming above the horizon for the first time this year again. So uh, <laughs> whole Astro uh, Photography uh, Netherlands is uh, super excited. I think everybody is uh, out tonight because it's a uh, rare crystal clear evening. We've had some snow earlier uh, the evening, but uh, yeah, right now we're looking to only uh, stars. Yeah, we are with uh, four people, as I mentioned earlier, as you saw earlier. Um, yeah, we have some yeah, various plans, but um, for me the main plan is to try to make a uh, panorama, a, a tracked and stacked panorama. So I'm uh, going to attempt to start at, at uh, 4.30 and I hope to end it about 5.30, one hour later. And what are your plans, Koen? Yeah, I hope I'm going to do the same. So also a tracked and stacked panorama. Mm -hmm. And maybe a 50 millimeter stack, but uh, I would be really happy with a panorama. All right, yeah, Koen and uh, Corné are uh, out into the fields uh, shooting foregrounds. Koen and I decided uh, to take a little gamble uh, so that we can, yeah, we hope to find foregrounds uh, in blue hour so that we get a little bit more detail. So yeah, I'll get uh, busy setting up uh, the tracker. Uh, see, you, see you soon. The brightest part of the Milky Way, the galactic core, is not visible all year round. If we look to 50 degrees north where I live in the Netherlands, we see in January that the core is not rising yet. We see just below, uh, just before sunrise that uh, the core remains below the horizon. But that all changes in February and that's also why we are out now. If you look to the southeast and just before sunrise we see that the core is rising. And that's also the case uh, in the months after that, in um, March and also in April and even a bit in May. We can see that the core is still in the south. And these months are also good months to make a Milky Way panorama. And that's uh, also what we are doing right now. And after that we uh, move into the grey nights uh, in June and July and that means that the sun doesn't set enough below the horizon to get truly dark. But in August however we see that um, the galactic core is uh, in the south-southwest uh, just after sunset and that's uh, also progressing into September and even a bit in October as you can see and after that uh, the core is uh, getting yeah, uh, below the horizon again and we get uh, those other beautiful regions of the Milky Way in the west like the Great Rift region and uh, also the Cygnus region. And uh, yeah, let's uh, check uh, what setup I am using to hopefully photograph a Milky Way panorama arch. You might have noticed my kind of weird uh, tripod setup here. Yeah, I've uh, ordered a uh, V-plate, so uh, that should fix it. But what I've done now, I've put two ball heads above each other so that uh, I can get the first ball head level. And as uh, yeah, the night progresses, my tracker will, of course, move a bit like this. And what's brilliant is that I can just adjust then my um, lower uh, ball head and my upper ball head is uh, as level as it can get and I can just move a couple degrees, shoot the stack, move a couple degrees, shoot the stack again and every now and then I adjust for the angle which is caused by uh, the tracker's rotation. So, let's see how it goes. I 
I've took some time to take some uh, test exposures. Uh, I've uh, put my camera uh, at the lightest part uh, of, uh, of the sky. There's a big city uh, in the east. And yeah, um, exposures will be uh, ISO 2000, one minute at F4. And that gives me uh, yeah, a nice histogram which isn't blown out. So um, yeah, I think I'll make uh, about 10 panels I think I need to, to get the full arch in. And uh, I think I might make five shots per panel. So in 10 minutes, we'll start. So Astro Darkness is over. My panel was just done before uh, sunrise or sunrise. Uh, Astro Darkness ended. Astro Darkness ended. Let's uh, check with the other guys uh, how it went. So how did it go, Koen? <laughs> it, uh, it went pretty well. So the skies were super dark. It was really clear. So uh, yeah, curious to the results. Same. Yeah, Koené is. Uh, already gone home because he had to uh, he had to leave for work but he uh, said it was also super successful let's check uh, Martijn who's uh, packing up at the moment oh, Martijn how did it uh, go tonight for you excellent excellent we excellent had a, we had a little bit of time pressure yep as but, always uh, <laughs> eventually it worked out uh, quite well Epic. what did you shoot uh, I did a sh shoot of the the sickness region nice on uh, 20 millimeters with a selfie for the selfie indeed, <laughs> and also uh, a 20 millimeter shot of the Milky Way core, including uh, Ro. Including so, uh, Ro. We love Ro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it went very, uh, very well. Nice. Quite happy. All right, same here. So uh, Kuhn and I are now going uh, to look for some foregrounds before uh, it uh, starts uh, to get too light to uh, get the foreground. So uh, there we go. right now is scrambling and running over uh, over these fields looking for a foreground because as you can see behind me uh, maybe you can see it I don't know but the contrast between the sky and the foreground is getting very high so my sky is uh, getting blown out yeah I wanted to, to be realistic so uh, I'm looking for a center uh, a strong centric tree which I want to isolate from other trees and uh, yeah the tree behind me suits that purpose. I hope I can make the panorama work uh, because yeah, the sky is uh, blown out while the uh, foreground is in shadow. So um, yeah, let's hope the dynamic range of this camera is enough. Well, let me tell you it was not, but wait for it. So <laughs> while it is uh, getting light pretty quick, as you can see behind me, uh, yeah, I have uh, found a uh, panorama. Uh, I'm not sure if the dynamic range of my camera can handle it, but uh, yeah, we'll see. And um, here behind I found another composition um, for the Milky Way core. Uh, yeah, this uh, might work pretty well. I've also shot a backup. So um, yeah, um, I think there's a lesson here to be learned. <laughs> Always, if you can, Look for your foregrounds during daytime because I think my sky shots are pretty awesome. But to be honest, the foregrounds, I think I could have done better. But it's not over until it's over. Sometimes you just get lucky. So just when we thought we were done, we spot this tree. Look at that, it's facing east, exactly where the Milky Way arch uh, arches over. So yeah, I've made a quick uh, bracket and uh, yeah, I hope I can uh, use this as a foreground because this might be even better than what I shot before. So uh, again, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> See you on the next one, bye bye.